thing. Members, it's already 2 p.m. May I call to order meeting of the Economic Development Panel. If you are a member of the panel, please uh, stay in this room. And the first thing on the agenda is election of the chairman. Uh, may I draw attention to the following? In accordance with Rule 77.6 of our ROP, if a member who is the chairman or deputy chairman of a government advisory body, he cannot be the chairman or deputy chairman of this panel. Rule 77. Subsection 7 states that a member shall not be chairman or deputy chairman of more than one panel at the same time. Of course, in the morning, uh, a dozen or so members have been nominated, though the election procedures are not yet completed, so they are not um, uh, returned yet. However, uh, if you are going to appoint or to nominate the same candidates, uh, so can you please uh, try to coordinate or ascertain the uh, wish of the members concerned? It's just a word of advice. A valid nomination can be made uh, verbally with one seconder with the oral acceptance of the nominated member concerned. Mr. Christopher Jill, I nominate Mr. Jeffrey Lamb. Mr. Jeffrey Lam, any seconder, please? Mr. Lau Kwok Fan, okay. Mr. Jeffrey Lam, do you accept the nomination? I do. The nomination is valid. Ms. Tanya Chen, I would like to nominate Mr. Alvin Young. Okay. Alvin, Mr. Alvin Young nominated. Uh, any uh, seconder? Mr. Wu Chi Wai seconds. Mr. Alvin Young. Do you accept the nomination? I do. It's valid. Okay. Any other nominations? I'll count to three. One, two, three. Okay. Nomination is closed. We have got two nominations. Miss Claudia Mo, I have a point of order. In any election, the candidates are expected to uh, tell us their platform. Do we have the opportunity to uh, ask <coughs> them to do so? All right. Uh, um, we do not have uh, any rules on that. However, uh, our time is rather tight. We we'll only have an, half an hour. So I'd like to know how many members would like to ask questions of the two candidates. And I'll then see whether uh, how much time each member should have. Um, all right, a show of hands, please, if you intend to ask questions. Uh, do you? Uh, so please, a show of hands. How many? How many members are prepared to ask questions? Miss Claudia Mo, I shouldn't be the only one. Well, it doesn't matter. Even if you are the only one, it doesn't matter. All right, you uh, may remain in your own seats, Chairman. I don't quite understand why the rush this morning. No, no, I'm trying to use time efficiently. Mr. Jeffrey Lam to be followed by Ms. David Young. Each can have one minute to speak, and Ms. Claudia Mo can have one minute to ask questions, and each candidate will then have a minute to reply. Mr. Jeffrey Lam, thank you. Uh, we are all aware of the economic situation in Hong Kong. Uh, the tourism industry in particular is um, declining, and we do not see any uh, positive uh, changes in our export. In terms of our economic and labor policies, we have uh, to strike a balance between the two. And as for AIIB, I think we have the uh, we need to uh, try to secure uh, a center or headquarters to be set up in Hong Kong. The most important thing is society can develop peacefully, and uh, we must have balanced development before investors can be attracted to come to Hong Kong, and our economy can continue to develop. Thank you.
Mr. Vic Young. Thank you, Chairman. I understand that we're not uh, going for the seat of a policy bureau. Uh, so uh, the chairman of a panel has to be fair and just and interpretation of our ROP and sending orders should be as liberal as possible. I think it is most important that a chairman can communicate widely with members of different sectors, not just those who have a business background, but also those from the grassroots, so that we can assess uh, the grassroots a little bit more. And these policies uh, or suggestions uh, should be given to the relevant bureaus. And I think these are pressing issues. Ms. Claudia Mo, your time to ask questions. I've got two questions. Seeking a reply from the two candidates first, our shipping uh, business used uh, to uh, top the world, but I think we are declining, and I think we are in the fifth or sixth position. So, uh, oh, what uh, improvements can we uh, make to our maritime uh, business? My second question is, international uh, rating organizations have said that uh, excessive integration between Hong Kong and the mainland has taken toll on Hong Kong's economic competitiveness. People who want to do business with uh, the mainland can do so directly and they can bypass us. For maritime and uh, port um, business in particular, People are patronizing uh, the service in Shenzhen instead of uh, those uh, in the western part of Kowloon. All right, I'll invite Ms. Alvin Young to answer first. Chairman, I think the most important thing is how determined our government is in promoting our board our port uh, development uh, business. They've talked about uh, they setting up for port development board a, num a long time, for a long time. Will they have any concrete proposals for us uh, to discuss within this year? Do they have any uh, specific plans? And most important of all, uh, how do they view our um, entry port trade? Because um, of um, our relations with uh, the mainland, uh, such a um, uh, business has not been uh, rising. We can very effectively monitor government policies and implementation of these policies, and it's important that we open up and allow more public participation before uh, our policies can be effective. Mr. Jeffrey Lamb, many people set up international and uh, regional uh, headquarters in Hong Kong because of our geographical location. Our relationship with the mainland is very important, and uh, many of us will not uh, be um, deterred because of our relations with the mainland. Well, recently we have uh, got um, too many people dragging their suitcases uh, in the community that has scared people off. So we must uh, ensure that we will not cause resentment towards Hong Kong on part of uh, mainlanders. And uh, for port business, it's also a question of uh, the source of uh, commodities. Europe is a place where they can, uh, there are various sources of um, commodities, so we should further industrialize. To attract more people, to um, invest in Hong Kong to boost our uh, economy, we must ensure that uh, LegCo will not uh, uh, employ delaying tactics. We can distribute the ballot papers. Uh, Mr. Leng Yu Chong, you have a point of order. No, no, I want to ask uh, questions. Uh, uh, just now I asked uh, whether uh, members had questions. Oh, I'm sorry, then I have a point of order. Yes, please go ahead. Before the end of a uh, previous meeting, you promised to, to review your decision as to whether it should be amended. Can you further uh, clarify? I have no intention to uh, change my decision. Now, the ballot papers are going to be distributed. This is a secret ballot. 
please do not show your ballot paper to uh, the the members sitting next to you, and please use the chop instead of uh, using a pencil. One ballot paper marked with a pencil was um, uh, invalidated. All right, number one is Mr. Jeffrey Lam. Number two, Mr. Alvin Young. It appears that the ballot papers have been distributed. Uh, any? Oh, sorry, this side still. Oh, now, Looks like every one of us has got a ballot paper. Is anyone of uh, still waiting for a ballot paper? Hands up, please, if you do. All right, and I'll count to five and we'll end the election. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Voting is closed. No more ballot papers will be distributed. 49 have been distributed so far. Staff, please collect the ballot papers. Please put it into the uh, ballot box personally. And don't leave your seats before you've done so. I invite the um, nominating members of the two candidates to come out. To monitor the counting of votes. All right, we have collected all the ballot papers. Let me once again ask those members who have the ballot papers, have you all put the ballot papers into the ballot box? All right, so I ask the two nominating members, Mr. Christopher Chang. The other one, who is, she? Who is it? Ms. Tanya Chan, sorry to supervise the vote counting process. Let's mix the ballot papers.
一千五百名，有百多个，两百名是到两个。Okay, hold. All right, please start. Number one. Number one. Where is the chop? Is at the corner. Number one. Number one. It's、uh, been reversed. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. Number two. Number one. 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 Number two. 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 We have distributed forty nine ballot papers. Well, please count the ballot papers once again, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. 你嗰邊啱嘛？
けど Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Thank you very much,、uh, the two members. We've distributed forty-nine ballot papers. We've collected forty-nine papers. And number one, Mr. Jeffrey Lam, thirty-four votes. And number two, Alvin Young, fifteen votes. I declare Mr. Jeffrey Lam elected as the chairman. So please come over, come up and take over the chair. Thank you, members. Now we will have the election of the deputy chairman for the 2016-17 session of the Economic Development Panel. A valid nomination shall be made by orally by one member and seconded orally by another member, and the and accepted by the member being nominated. So nominations, please, Ms. Tanya Chan. I would like to nominate Mr. Alvin Yang. Any seconder? Dr. Helena Wong. Mr. Alvin Yang, do you accept the nomination? Yes. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? If not, then I declare Mr. Alvin Yang elected as the deputy chairman. Next, let's take a look at the schedule of meetings for the current session. The proposed schedule has been tabled. Any views? Yes. Our chairman. In the future, can the panel discuss the enhancement of the competition ordinance, including introducing the litigation rights,、uh, private litigation rights of individuals, and also、uh, review the、um, efficiency of the competition、uh, committee commission? Yes, we will discuss that at the next item. We are talking about the schedule. Any views? No. All right. Let's look at the items for discussion at the next meeting, and if you have any、uh, views on proposals or items to be discussed, then please、uh, feel free to voice out.、Uh, we've already recorded your views just now, Mr.、Uh, Mr. Jim. So about the Lama incident has been several years down the road.、Um, the criminal prosecutions have been taken out and. So、for some of the cases, the procedures have been completed. Still, some procedures are still going on, and there are still a number of issues to be resolved, including、um, a report which has been、uh, shown to us、uh, being enclosed to doors. We didn't have the chance to discuss it. We've got new members、uh, in the current term, and maybe we need some time, or they need some time to、um, discuss or study the. Issue. I am not saying that we should do it next time. Maybe the meeting after the next, the members or their assistants can try to read through the reports first. The only difficulty is that for these um, um, reports、uh, shown to us at behind closed doors, can you try to arrange, say, if、uh, new members would like to read through the reports, give them a chance to read through the reports. And then、uh, we can discuss it、uh, at an open or closed door meeting. So can that be dealt with? Yes, I will deal with that, Mr. Andrew Wan. Thank you, Chairman. I'm not asking that to be dealt、uh, in the next meeting, but within the session, let's、uh, follow up on the cooling off period for contracts. We've been discussing this for a long time, but the government is not willing to do anything. So I hope that we, that can be discussed, and we would also. 
like to um, look at the, the uh, situation of the uh, Consumers Litigation Fund run by the Consumer Council and also on the tourism industry. Travel insurance. The Protection Fund now doesn't include uh, people who travel on their own because uh, there was an incident relation in relation to an airline and people would like very much these days to travel on their own. They take up some um, a dozen uh, percent or so of all the um, all the uh, traveling um, uh, trips and, and also the fourth item is the prepaid uh, service. Cooling off period, that has been discussed uh, last year. Well, I would uh, follow up with the administration to see when it can be dis discussed again at the panel. Next one, Mr. Yu Si Wing. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, item one in the list of issues suggested to be considered, development of tourism in Hong Kong. I don't see that the SARG government has um, good planning for the development of tourism in Hong Kong. Let's not just look at uh, development projects. I hope that the government can have short, medium and long-term planning for the development of tourism. So that can be discussed uh, within this item. Mr. Michael Tian would like to say something. Let's uh, draw a line here because we have another meeting at 2.30. Mr. Michael Tian. Chairman. Hong Kong's uh, retail industry is in deep trouble. For 18th consecutive months, um, it's been on decline, and the unemployment rate of the sector is the highest among all sectors in Hong Kong. And well, in 2008, uh, we've got 49 cities which are running the individual visitor scheme. But after that, no new city joined the scheme. So I think we should have this. Uh, draw up a t um, total quota scheme and then under that scheme try to open up more new cities. I think this is something pressing. And also Eunice and I uh, were very uh, concerned about the prepaid service. Let's discuss it uh, as soon as possible. And also person-to-person -person call, uh, telemarketing calls. Uh, does it fall within the, uh, the remit of this panel? Is it uh, for the ITPB, ITBP? Uh, Mr. Holden Chow and myself are very concerned about this. Uh, well, if needed, the two panels can uh, hold joint meetings on this. I would deal with that. Uh, sorry, I missed Dr. Helena Wong. Sorry. Dr. Wong, please. Chairman, can the panel discuss how we can promote diversity? diversification of industrial structure in Hong Kong. What is the industrial policy here in Hong Kong? Can we discuss that in the panel? I will study with the administration um, on this. If it should fall within the remit of this panel, then we will discuss it. Well, going by the official documents, the industrial policy, say, can be followed up by the EDB as well as the um, C. IP. So I don't know which uh, panel is a more suitable uh, platform. Well, um, members have raised many items together with the deputy chairman. I will discuss with the administration, and we will uh, schedule the discussion accordingly. I would also like to follow up on how we should uh, further protect rights of consumers and also the statutory. Um, or the legislation for cooling off period, and also how is it being done overseas? So can the panel ask the research division to collect um, relevant information so that we can have an in-depth discussion? And also competition policy. I'm concerned about uh, fuel prices, uh, whether they are comp uh, there is competition. And also pork prices are fluctuating a lot, and yet uh, the uh, fluctuations are not reflected in uh, local uh, pork prices. So uh, can we uh, look at this from the perspective of our competition policy? All right. If members have uh, further suggestions for our discussion, please approach uh, the Secretariat or myself afterwards. All right. We next uh, go to the agenda for our next meeting. As uh, you can see,
that we have a list of issues suggested to be considered. The administration has suggested that uh, in our November meeting we discuss the following. First, project for the development of tourism in Hong Kong. Well, uh, because we already have this on our proposed agenda, I didn't respond to Mr. Yu Xiuwing's uh, request. In fact, it's already on our agenda. I'll ask whether they can include planning into this item as well. Do we have other suggestions? If not, uh, please uh, liaise with me or the secretariat afterwards. As chairman of uh, the panel, I'll first ask, uh, I'll later meet with uh, the economic, uh, commerce and economic development panel, the um, um, various uh, panels to discuss the agenda. And as I said, if you have any other uh, issues not yet included or not mentioned, you can um, let me or the secretary know afterwards. A or B, we don't have any. So, date of our next meeting, the 28th of November at 10.45. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.